If you've ever ordered something online and when it arrived you forgot what it was, part two, go ahead and hit that like button. Guys, comment below. Welcome back to the Box Builder Breakdown. I'm the Box Builder, coming to you live from Giver HQ. Today we have, I don't know, I don't know what we have. I thought I wasn't going to do this again, and here we are because I ordered something and I don't know what it is. Last time it was one of our customers that I ordered and forgot about. This time, probably going to also be embarrassing. If this is your first Box Builder Breakdown, welcome. On the Box Builder Breakdown, we order things online, direct to consumer brands, and we receive them as if we're a consumer, and I unbox them and leverage my 20 years of industry experience to give you tips and tricks about how you can design your packaging for the best unboxing experience possible. So, what is our affiliation with this brand? I have no idea, because I don't know what it is. When we're going through the Box Builder Breakdown, we have eight criteria that we go over. First one is the doorstep impression. Then we have the first contact. Then we have a shake test. We unbox the product and evaluate that. We do a damage report about what is inside and we do a pack fill report, overall customization and the box builder breakdown score. So let's dive right in. First, doorstep impression. It is a box. I can guarantee you that. Uh, the, I don't know what it is, and the shipping label doesn't even help me, so I mean it's, we can go one of two ways here. We could say there's no branding, give it a one, or we can say Jeremy should know what it is and also give it a one. So I don't know what it is, the branding on the box is not existent, and it's a stock box, or at least it, it, might, it might not be a stock box, but it's a 32 ECT shipping box. So I'm going to give it a two out of five flutes. First contact. Again, it's a little bit heavy. There's a little bit of slop, um, slop in the packing. It's a, it sounds like can, so I'm going to guess it's some kind of beverage. I'm just waiting to be embarrassed by this. Uh, I'm going to say first contact also, I'm going to say three. I'm going to say three because it's not damaged, and it seems like it's probably packed correctly. Shake test. So there's a little room. I hear some sloshing. And I think I hear cans. I think I hear cans. I know a good set of cans when I hear them. I'm going to give that a three out of five flutes. Now, for the big reveal, brought to you by Bradford Knives. Who do, what, we should take bets. What, what do you think this is? What do you think this is? Beverage, okay. Beverage? It's probably a beverage. Okay, unboxing right here. It looks like the proper use for craft paper, what I like to call the CVS receipt. Oh, I know. Man, I ordered this a long time ago. Okay, so pop and bottle. I, I'm, this, I ordered this a long time ago. They, I might have like pre-ordered actually. This is a set, do not separate. Oh, this must be fulfilled by Amazon. That makes sense. Although there's not FBA label on it. So, okay. Unboxing score, uh, proper use of craft paper. I could have used a little more because these were moving around in the box. So I'm going to say three out of five flutes. This is going to be fun. Pack fill score, CVS receipt. Probably could have used two of these, but honestly, it, it was more secure than some we've seen. So I'm going to give it a four out of five flutes. I could have prepared had I known what this was. Damage report. We're going to have to get into this. I guess the first thing we should do is look at the box itself. There's a little bit of denting, right? This is a folding carton box, so it's not meant to be shipped on its own, and there's no real structure to a folding carton box. It's mostly to use for pretty print. There's a little bit of, oh, you know what it is? There's like a tear here that's from the top of the can slamming against it. So they, they might be dented pretty good. All right, let's dig in here and see the damage report on the cans. Oh, their cans are so pretty. They're matte finished cans, which I really like. Pastel colors. 
these are the uh, I think they're yeah these are the eight ounce sleek cans. The twelve ounce is um, like your Red Bull can, the taller version. The sleek option just comes into you know it's a taller sleeker can. These do have denting. I think all of them probably have a little dent. Yeah, they all have a little bit of denting, which is sad, especially when there's a matte, like uh, a matte sleeve on there. The denting is highlighted just because it, it kind of collects your eye a little bit better when the matte, with the with the matte sleeve. So yeah, there's denting here, and then we've got some sales collateral just for the unboxing. I'm gonna give that. They're not that bad. I don't. We don't have any umbrella or blown out tops here. We don't have any blown out bottoms. So the packaging did pretty good. Um, I'll give this a four out of five flutes, considering it didn't have a lot of internal packaging fill. All right, let's see. Customization score. I love what they've done here with the cans. I love the matte finish. And the black top's not something you see all that often. Usually it's a, you know, silver, or in some cases like this liquid death, you get the brass look. But I, I don't know that I've seen the black. I think on... Um, Project Breakfast. They had a black top, but that's the only other ones that I've seen that had a black top. I like it. Yeah. Customization score. I like, um, I mean, it's a folding carton box with their branding on it. I'm going to give it a four out of five. Overall, box, box builder. <laughs> Box Builder Breakdown Score, thank you. I'm going to give this a three out of five flutes. The box wasn't branded. This is cool, and the cans are cool, but in terms of an unboxing experience, it really wasn't a great one. So, yeah, overall, three. Pop and bottle mystery. I, I got, just to follow up on how I found out about these guys, I got hit with an Instagram ad, and I'm a sucker for Instagram ads, so I bought them. I haven't tried them. I know nothing about them. We have no affiliation with them, but I'm going to reach out to them. So this was the Box Builder Breakdown, Mystery Box Edition Part 2. It sounds like we're probably going to keep doing these because it's hilarious when I unbox it and don't know what I'm doing. Um, yeah, we're coming to you live from Giver HQ. I'm the Box Builder. This was the Box Builder Breakdown. Be nice to each other. See you next time.